Hi, I'm Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com with a beautiful Bechstein semi-concert grand. I don't know how many of you know the great European pianos, Bechstein, Busendorfer, Fazioli, of course, Hamburg Steinway, Blutner. There, there are a number of phenomenal piano companies, but they're quite rare in this country. If you've never played a Bechstein, you're in for a real treat if you ever have the opportunity. This instrument has been restored and yet it still has the original ivory keys, something that speaks volumes about its history, the fact that the piano was cared for that lovingly. And the instrument plays on a very high level, the action's precise. More than that, it's quiet, it's got new knuckles. A lot of the parts are actually original in this piano, although it was rebuilt, meaning the plate was lifted out, soundboard refinished, new strings and uh, pins and such. I want you to hear this piano. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of Beethoven. This is a, an excerpt from the Opus 10 number three D major sonata. It's great for the crispness and the clarity required in classical period music, but it also has a warmth and a lushness to the tone. I'm going to play a little bit of the slow movement of the Schumann G minor sonata, which really is a test for a piano to see the singing tone, the beautiful, warm, creamy sound of this Bechstein is a perfect match for this music. Just a taste, really a teaser. I'm going to play a little bit of the third movement of the same sonata. Yes, it has plenty of power, but it also has beautiful singing line exemplified by the beginning of the fifth French suite of Bach, the G major French suite.
And yes, this is a semi-concert grand at over seven feet long. This is an appropriate instrument for recording work for a small performance space. If you require a thunderous bass and a good deal of volume, this is a good choice of an instrument. I'm going to close with the opening chords of the Tchaikovsky B-flat minor piano concerto. <laughs> Yes, the tone lasts a very long time. If I kept that sustain pedal down, it would probably continue resonating for another minute or, or longer because a piano of this size with a great soundboard like this has tremendous projection and sustain to the tone. If you have any other questions about this Beckstein or want to know more about European pianos versus American or Asian pianos, I'm happy to talk about them. I have some videos about that subject, in fact, online. And if you want to personally talk to me about specific questions you have, feel free to contact me anytime. Of course, I am Robert Estrin, livingpianos.com. Thanks for joining me today.